Welcome to Rocky Railway VBS. My name is Miss Kate, and I'm so excited to be riding the rails with you this week. We'll start every day here at Sing and Play Express. I'll help you sing, have fun, and celebrate Jesus' power. Let's start off with a song about Jesus' power pulling us through. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. Right there. Oh, easy peasy. 
You might want to stand back in case this thing goes flying. Oh, okay. useless. It's just too hard. Oh, Cam, it's funny oh, that you mentioned that because today we're learning that Jesus's power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. We all have hard things to do. Maybe like taking a hard test at school or, or maybe dealing with a bully at school um, or maybe taking care of a sick family member <laughs> or maybe even saying goodbye to a friend who's is moving away. Cam, are you okay? Wait, wait. What are you doing? I thought we already established I'm not this strong. Oh, I'm sorry. None of us are strong enough to tackle all of that stuff on our own, but we know someone who is. Jesus. Jesus gives us power in every single way. He can handle anything, and he can handle the stuff outside, like big rocks, and the stuff inside of us. Even though life may seem heavy, He's always there to help share the load. This Jesus guy, he sounds like a good person to be friends with. Well, I've got to go figure out a way to get these rocks off the track. Maybe the Jesus, maybe he can give me some good ideas about the right thing to do. Maybe so. I'll tell you what, as soon as I'm done here, I'll come see if you have things all figured out. Okay, sounds good. All right, bye. 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 This week for Vacation Bible School, we're imagining what it would be like to journey on a steam train through the wild, vast, beautiful Rocky Mountains. A long time ago, trains were the fastest way you could travel to go far or up big hills. Not many people ride steam trains like this anymore. Steam trains get their power from a steam engine. Imagine a steam engine is a little bit like a tea kettle. When the water boils inside, the steam goes through the hole and it whistles. Pretty cool, huh? Inventors figured out a way to capture that steam and turn it into power. Enough power to pull trains and heavy cargo up big mountains and across valleys. Trains have the power to cross miles of desert and carry important supplies to the people who need them. Imagine that you and your friends have a steam train and you can load it up with whatever you want. Be creative. Take a few seconds to think about what you would put on your steam train and where you would go. It would take a lot of power to get something like a water slide or a giant pink elephant all the way to Saskatchewan, Canada or Kalamazoo, Michigan. This week, we'll discover a special kind of power that you and I do have. We have the power of Jesus right here with us, ready to help us do important things. Maybe when you think of power, you think of superheroes who have superpowers. What are some superpowers you wish you had? Maybe you wish you could fly, or maybe you wish you could see in the dark. Or maybe the word power makes you think of someone with big muscles. Stand up and make your best muscle pose. Hurr. Strong muscles and superpowers are things we usually think of when we hear of power. But God has more power than any of those things. God has the power to create mountains and oceans just by speaking. God has the power to love and to forgive and to comfort and heal. God is even more powerful than death. Jesus is God's very own son, and he has all of these powers too. This week, we'll be talking about how we can trust Jesus' power to help us every single day. Join me in singing a fun song about Jesus' power.
day, we'll learn a Bible point, an important truth from the Bible that we can remember. Today, we are exploring how Jesus' power helps us do hard things. That's our point. Today, whenever you hear someone say, Jesus' power helps us do hard things, you say, trust Jesus. Let's all practice together. Are you ready? Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Great job. We need to hang on to Jesus' power to pull us through whenever things get tough. Today, our key Bible verse comes from the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 13. It says, For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Christ is another name for Jesus, and Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! He gives us strength when we need power to pull through sadness or confusion or whatever we are feeling. Let's sing another great song about Jesus' power. we're going to get to know some pretty cool Bible memory buddies to help us remember our important Bible points. All of our buddies are really cool animals that you could find somewhere in the beautiful Rocky Mountains. Let's see who we're going to meet today. Hey there, friends! Glad you're all on board for a rambunctious week of faith and fun at Rocky Railway. I'm Ramsey, a bighorn sheep. Um, can you guess why? <laughs> okay, that was too easy. Check out these cool, curvy horns God gave me. Ram's horns can weigh up to 30 pounds. That's as much as some of our littlest preschool buddies. Wow! My horns have to be tough, because we male sheep use them to keep other rams out of our territory. 
People who study rams say we can run into each other at 20 to 40 miles per hour. Bam! You can hear that sound for miles! Me and my herd hang out all over the majestic, massive Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains rock! If you head up to find me, strap on your hiking boots. Sometimes my herd grazes in an alpine meadow. Cause that's where the good stuff is! Wow, good! But the meadow makes us an easy target for predators. So we also like to climb way up those crazy cliffs. We sheep like it steep. Me and my family can hang out on a little teeny tiny ledge that's only a few inches wide. Animals like bears or coyotes can't bother us here. Whew! And check out the view! God made us just right for staying safe in those hard, rocky places. My hooves are split and have a rough skin on the bottom that grips tight to the rugged rocks. Plus, I've got excellent eyesight. No glasses for me. It may sound like climbing these cliffs and balancing on jagged ledges is hard to do, but God has given me everything I need to live here. Find food and keep my family safe. I've heard that you sometimes have to do hard things too. When there's a bully at school, maybe you feel like you're in a rough, rocky place. You may not be balanced on a cliff ledge like me, but maybe you have to balance homework, chores, sports, music, and friendships. That sounds hard! Hmm, maybe coming here today and making new friends even feels like a hard thing for you. But did you know you don't face those hard things alone? No way! Jesus is right beside you. Yep, even right now. He gives you his power to climb through those mountains of worry and get through any rough stuff you gotta do. The Bible powers you up with this truth. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. That means you don't have to have your own power to do hard things. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! When you see Ramsey, remember, Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! Now let's get started on today's awesome adventure. Along the way, take fun pictures and videos of yourself at all the different stations and send them to children at fpcl.org to be a part of our VBS slideshow at the end of the week. I'll see you back here for the Rocky Wrap-Up.